we'll be seeing a lot more new opportunity, whether it be become very smooth or not, maybe the following year will be better. This year, just to see a new light. Hello, I'm Noel Lim on ASEAN Speaks by Maybank IBG. 2022 will be the lunar year of the water tiger. What does this mean for Malaysia's economy and stock market? I speak to Kenny Hu, Feng Shui Master, to get his assessment. We are transitioning from the Feng Shui period 8 to 9 in 2024. It's been very disruptive in the last two years thanks to COVID-19. What will the transition be like from this year onwards? We see that we are entering to the period 9 Feng Shui period, the 9 Feng Shui period, and this is a brand new cycle, which is a fire element. And currently, we are living in the 8th the mean the eight Feng Shui period, which started from 2004 until 2023. However, we do not need to wait until 2024 to wait for the arrival of the new cycle. Actually, the new cycle already giving the influence started from 2017 July. That's why from 2017 July, worldwide is quite chaotic. It's a mixture of two set of qi. Qi from the uh, Feng Shui period 8 and also qi from the period 9 mixing together just like the sea water and also the river water mixing at the, at the, at the river mouth, right? The habitats there can be different. And then that makes a lot of people be confused. And it look messy, look chaotic. Actually, we are actually entering to a brighter, better era, which, we, which will be the number nine Feng Shui period. What is the significance of period nine, especially for Southeast Asia? We are entering to a new international order. For the World Centre previously, 200 years ago, or 180 years ago, the World Centre was in uh, United Kingdom. right? Then about 100 years ago, then shifted to US. Gradually now, the center now shifting back to the oriental world to be led by China. We are seeing it very clearly. So China, for example, in terms of technology, in terms of the market size, in terms of the GDP, China is growing. And also by 2030, also we read from some of the reports, right? Uh, Southeast Asia or the ASEAN region will become the fourth largest uh, uh, market in the world after China, US, and also maybe uh, Eurozone. So naturally, Malaysia, whether we are standing still, we will be pushed naturally towards a positive direction. So what we are doing, we are hoping, for example, the leadership of the, for example, the government uh, uh, sector or the 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 the, the, the machinery uh, of the government right will be better in starting from this year. In the meantime, till we hit period nine, what will twenty twenty two look like? In terms of like, for example, 2022 should be a better year. In this brighter year, there'll be a lot of new opportunities to be seen. Simply because, for example, through the, uh, for example, IoT, Internet of Things, right, the, the Internet. So we can see a lot of new lines of businesses, new lines of services being being used or being implemented more uh, easily, smoother. So 2022, Everyone, the, the eyesight will be brighter. That's why I named this year as the brighter year, right? Become brighter. So people will start to become clearer, sharper in terms of, and also wiser when they do, when they do selection. So in this year, we will be having a lot of choices to do selections. Last year, the Malaysian stock market closed as the worst performing amongst key markets in Southeast Asia. So can we expect to do better this year? So stock market, we, we foresee that there will be a lot of ups and down, tremendous ups and down. So very a lot of fluctuations. A lot of people like this kind, this kind of uh, fluctuation. When market go up, then they can sell, go down, then they can, can buy. So buy low, sell high, buy low, sell high. There will be more tradings going on. This is what we are expecting. So generally, Malaysia should be better because the external environment will be better. No matter how, we will, we will be pushed towards a, a positive direction. And secondary, uh, if I can add on, Malaysia is located in the southernmost of the Asian Asia's uh, 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 continent. So in terms of when we, when we are entering to the Feng Shui period number nine, the northern and also the southern, this region or this line will become more prominent in terms of their positivity, in terms of the energy. So the northern part, for example, China, for example, Russia, you pay, they are playing, uh, we, are, we are seeing that they are playing a more important role in terms of like, I mean, uh, moving the whole world, uh, for example, economy, everything, uh, development towards a positive direction. Southernmost, for example, Malaysia, of course, Southeast Asia will also be doing well as well. So generally, I foresee that in this year, we start to see everything will be brighter in this year. 
So Malaysia's economy should be better comparing to the previous two years. I think we can expect this year to be interesting for the stock markets if interest rates go up in the US and inflation continues to rise. What are the good and bad months for the Malaysian markets? The market will be having a lot of ups and downs, ups and downs. For example, February, August, June, uh, December as well. These kind of months will be having more roller coaster. And some of the positive months include uh, April, October, November, and also 20, 23, January. These are the months maybe will be more fruitful. Uh, this is uh, something to do with the stock markets. Huh? What will be contributing to this volatility? Okay, for us, we do not know what will happen because we see the scenario from the sparks analysis. It could be due to the climate changes. It could be due to, for example, political changes, uh, some of the new, uh, we foresee that this kind of months will be more, in terms of the elements, will be having more clashing elements during those months. Whereas the good months, for example, that I mentioned just now, April, October, November, and January 2023, uh, will be having more uh, harmonious or harmony uh, elements within those months. This will be the scenario. Towards the end of last year, Malaysia had massive floods. Do you expect any major disasters or perhaps more deadly COVID-19 variants this year? Based on our, we do some research based on the old ancient text from the Feng Shui books, right? In this year, everything should be better. So maybe in terms of the such kind of like uh, uh, diseases, maybe it will happen more on the, for example, Maybe the animals, maybe to the humankind may not be that serious, simply because also the vaccination also become, uh, the vaccine should be more, become more mature also, can cater for this kind of situation better based on the past experiences and moreover, technology is also advances. Which sector would be raking it in this period heading into uh, period nine? Technology, which is fire element. Technology should be doing very well, at least in the next 20 years from now because we are entering to the uh, feng shui period number nine so nine p- feng shui period is fire elements fire will become the most prominent and also most uh, promising uh, industry in the next uh, for example in the in the whole of uh, period number nine which will end by in the year of 2043 so from now on everything will be talking about technology and then we are seeing this kind of trend stronger and stronger what are the other fire industries that will do well? For example, industries, the energy, solar-related, lighting-related, for example, entertainment as well, uh, electronic, uh, telecommunications, all these are fire-related. And also, of course, we also foresee that when the market is getting more active, for example, the energy will be in greater demand. Of course, the new energy, right? Recyclable energy or even reusable energy, uh, this will become like more prominent. Uh, top prices we foresee in the year of 2022 maybe will be a little bit higher comparing to the past two years. You know, there'll be more consumption going on. Which sectors won't do as well? Okay, in terms of uh, some sector, sector which may not be do well in the short term, for example, in this year, maybe the property sector may need to have a, a bigger, I mean, longer time to start to recover, start to pick up. Simply because the earth element in this year is not very, I mean, the energy is not very prominent as compared to some other, like, for example, fire-related industries, right? Earth element, for example, the property-related industries may need to take some time in order to recover or to to see some new light. For example, at least to wait until entering to October onwards in 2022. What about banking? Banking is matter element. Banking should be doing well and also... In this year, the brighter year, that means there will be a lot of new system, new ball game, <clears throat> new rules being launched to, especially in the finance uh, uh, or banking industries, the matter related industries. In that case, it will create a lot more new new systems, banking and finance system. For example, people start start doing trading from home uh, more aggressively, uh, especially since the since a year plus or two years ago. Right. And also a lot of people uh, also learn more, I mean, to invest into the cryptocurrency and so on and so forth. All these are the new kind of system. Will Malaysia hold the general elections this year? Generally, we will see a lot of, uh, not only Malaysia, who have, and also, for example, other countries also, they'll be having elections going on as well. 
So that's why people will be entering to a phase uh, to have a lot of choices, right? So people will tend to become wiser in terms of their selection as well. Will the outcomes or transition be smooth and harmonious? If based on our analysis, based on the parts analysis, right, this year in terms of people's emotion will be very having a lot of ups and downs. So in terms of harmonious, uh, in terms of transition may not be that smooth, right? For example, if the transition happened in around August, in around December, maybe they'll be more uh, a little bit messier. So while the year is bright, economic prospects are bright, but you can expect a lot of volatility that will take place. Yes, correct. It doesn't mean that when the market is is when the, when the market is bright, everything is smooth, keep on going up. Brighter means, for example, some of the, the industry, water related industries, the logistic, for example, the hotel. Uh, in tourism, maybe in the past one or two years, right, has been uh, into a very so-called darker kind of situation. However, coming to this year, it's brighter. And a lot of people, for example, uh, was being trapped during the MCO, did not know what to do or lose their job. In this year, they should start to see a new line of business, uh, to see brighter uh, road ahead. So this is brighter. It doesn't mean brighter, then after when the door is open, brighter, the road will be smoother we will be seeing a lot more new opportunity, whether it will be become very smooth or not. Maybe the following year will be better. This year, just to see a new light, there's a brighter year, a lot of new opportunities. Then people who cannot adapt to the new changes, new rules, new system, then they will be phased out. Thank you so much for speaking to us and Happy Chinese New Year. Thank you and Kung Si Fa Chai Wan Si Ri. Be healthier in this year. Kenny Hu, Feng Shui Master, I'm Noel Lim for ASEAN Speaks by Maybank IBG.